All right, here we go. We're gonna use the Jehovah's Witness parking lot here. Have I ever showed you the pink silo? I said you can't rush excellence. Oh, I like my ball. Like your ball? What do you mean? There's our shot right there. Welcome back everybody. We are on another photo drive today and we're looking for interesting subjects today. Not necessarily wildlife, uh, but when I woke up this morning, it was super foggy, super misty, and I'm like, this is going to be a great opportunity to get out and take some photos because the lighting is very even and with the mist and the fog, it creates this atmosphere. And so let's just go see what we can find today. I think in particular, what I want to try to do today is find subjects, uh, most likely buildings and architecture or whatever, and try to shoot it multiple times in, in terms of like move around and get multiple angles of the same subject. Uh, we should be doing that anyways when we do photography because it just leads to more creativity, uh, more interesting compositions, and hey, you never know uh, what you're going to walk away with. So let's see what we do today. I got the A7 III again today with the 200 to 600. That's my go-to setup because once again, I'm shooting from the road safely but effectively. I got some of the kids with today, so hopefully they either nap or <laughs> add their selective commentary. Here, up here, we're going to get our first shot, I think. It's, it's up here, bud. Just give me a second to get up here. My goodness. See, it's, it's right here. There's your dozer. So I just drove past some grain bins. I've taken this shot before in some fog, and it's pretty cool. I don't know if I shot it with the 200 to 600, though, so I'm going to drive up a ways because I need a lot of room to make this shot happen. All right, buddy. Be right back. This is actually kind of a cool shot. Okay. It's wet out there, bud. I'm tipping you over. Yeah. Sorry, dude. We're in a ditch. Okay, we're gonna scoot around. Maybe I got a better shot this way, actually. Let's go up this way. I think I might have a better shot. Here. This is why we like driving around. Here's a different angle. All right, here we go. We gotta get low. Those were good shots. Those are better shots. Always goes to show when you're shooting a subject, you want to shoot multiple angles because you want to shoot multiple angles because you never know what you're going to get. I think those are better than my first idea. So yeah, I like those. You know what daddy forgot? I forgot my tea. Son of a biscuit. Do you like going on these drives with dad? Yeah? Awesome. Sometimes you don't. Well, that's okay. I still got Baby. Baby enjoys these car rides. Oh, I'm gonna take a shot here, actually. There's a truck there, too. A little A-frame. That picture of the truck sitting in there. That barn's even kind of cool. I'm too tight for that barn, though. You warm enough? Okay. That tree is kind of cool, but I've shot that tree before. It looks better when it's all snowy. Right now, the background, background backdrop is just too brown for me. Even when the crops start coming up, that'll look better. And when that tree has bloomed, it'll look better. Uh, but the state that it's in right now, I don't like how it looks. But we are going to go down this road because I do think there are horses on this road. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I see some of them. Let's see, do I got a shot here, though? Yeah. Do I? Ooh, this could be a cool shot. Yeah, there's a nice shot by this tree. Let's see if I can shoot under it.
You saw me? Did you see the horses? Oh, I know. They're pretty, aren't they? Yeah. So it's nice because that background back there is very misty. You get a lot of separation between the horse and the background because of that fog, because of that atmosphere. And I love those types of photos. So today, days like today, I really love because there's so much atmosphere in the air. It just gives a really unique quality and image to your photos, if that makes sense. All right, it was right up to here somewhere. Oh, uh, where's that spot? Like right here, I think. We're gonna shoot from right here. A little bit foggier today than I typically like. But yeah, I shot that property when it was all snowy out and there's all this rime frost and it was just gorgeous. This is the highway. This is the highway. We gotta cross four lanes of traffic. It's kind of busy today. Here we go. Hold on to your seatbelt, son. This is the highway. Yep, say bye, highway. Bye, See, there's, there's cows right here. Should we take their picture? I don't know if I got a good angle. Yeah. Buddy, I don't know if I have a good angle though, because I got fence in front of me. Uh, then I'm too close. Yeah, I don't have an angle there, bud. Sorry. But, have I ever showed you the pink silo? Where? Oh, well, that's where we're going. I'm going to show you the pink silo. You've seen pictures of the pink silo, haven't you? Yeah, I did. I'm gonna take a picture of it today because I don't have a picture of it in the, the foggy mist. Yeah. Uh, oh, I see the pink silo there. You see it? I saw it. You know, there's a cool looking barn here too I'm gonna take a picture of. I've never been on this road, so we're gonna get a picture of that barn. barn. This one right up here. And there's a red wing blackbird right across the road I'm gonna try to get too, unless it flies away. I think that's a red winged blackbird. I don't know what that is. Oh, there's a few of them. Let's get this barn. Let's get low. Get that post and fence in there. Probably have to bump the contrast up and post on some of these. Some of the subjects, like that barn, that are off in the distance are just going to have a real lack of contrast. Just because they're so far off and there's a lot of atmosphere between us. Alright, let's go get a shot of that pink silo. Pink silo. It's right over there, I can see. Just the tip. <laughs> no, we're going to go straight, because I think I got a better shot of it. Actually, I might have a decent shot here of it. Okay, I'm going to shoot it here because I haven't shot this angle before. Right by a railroad track, too. I wonder if we'll see any trains. Get low again. That's just my MO. So foggy. That is the pink silo. I don't mind that shot. I was going to go up the road. Let's go up the road and get another shot of it. Just for shits and giggles. Well, I'm going to go straight, I think. Actually, let's, I'm just going to get a photo while I'm here, too, because there's no one here. I like the train tracks in the foreground. Let's see if I can get those. All right. A few options there. <laughs> no, bud. We're out taking photos, dude. Let's get a little closer, see if we can get a better shot, because it's so misty out. I think if I get too close, it's just... Actually... There's our shot right there. Put the sign in the foreground. Oh yeah, got a different angle of that blue barn too. Here we go. barn. Some cows over there? Let's see if we can get those. 
Okay. The name of the game today is just driving around and getting different angles of the same subject. I like what, what's happening so far because I'm picking a few subjects and I'm trying to get a few different angles and I think that's really working out in my favor. And You should always try to get a few different angles because you never know what's going to work and what's going to work compositionally. And I love how it's turning out today. I'm, I'm finding not, not necessarily wildlife subjects because sometimes they're a fleeting moment, but anything that's stationary where you have the opportunity to get more than one angle in composition, you should because if you're not doing that, you're doing yourself a disservice. I saw the whole pink thing. You saw the whole pink thing? Yeah. Was it cool? I missed it. I missed it? Yeah. Shucks. Let's go this way. Where's this going? Hey, I found the train track again. What? Train track. What? Said we don't want to be on a train track. We don't play on train tracks. Okay, bud? Same with you photographers. Don't play on the train tracks. Not cool. Just be safe and responsible, that's all I'm asking. I think I'm gonna turn around for the first time today. There was a cool barn that is like falling apart and falling in on itself. And I'm curious if I can get a shot of it from the road. Fall ahead, yeah. Let's see if I can get it from here. I might be too close though, buddy. I might be too close, we'll see. Uh, let's see close but we can kind of see what's going on I'm gonna go across the road I usually don't do this but it gives me a little bit more room this is a really cool looking building try one more change my aperture stop down a little bit Okay. Oh yeah, baby is asleep. Oh, that's what daddies do, bud. We take forever. You having fun yet? No. I'm sorry, dude. You can't rush excellence, buddy. What? I said you can't rush excellence. Oh, like my ball. Like your ball? What do you mean? Which way should we go, right or left? Hurry up, hurry up. I need to know. Uh, I can't go straight, buddy. <laughs> 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 oh, brother. Oh, here we go. What? I wonder... This flag is always an awesome subject. I'm going to see if I can get this. Because it's blowing today. I think I might turn around, though. In this guy's driveway. Yeah. Should we get a different angle of that flag too? Seems like we already got one angle of it. I think we should. All right, here we go. We're gonna use the Jehovah's Witness parking lot here. There's someone here, but we're not gonna bother them. And hopefully they don't bother us. This flag right up here, see? Right here, bud. Yeah, the one that's moving, it's the only flag out there, bud. <laughs> There you go, a couple angles of that. Dad, yeah, I don't angle this one. Yeah, me either. But sometimes we gotta do what we don't like to do, okay? It makes us uncomfortable. Dad, we are, bud. Ooh, what is this thing? What is that bird? Oh, of course they fly away. They blend in with that. Here comes one. Man, I'll shoot. That was interesting, but I wasn't quick enough. Let's just get a picture of this windmill up here and we'll call it a day, okay? No! Yes! Mm. Yeah, bud, we're almost done, okay? Alright, here's the windmill. How should I get a picture of this, bud? Yeah. So, we're gonna go right here because we got a good angle. angle angle you know what that means okay yeah i 
like it. Let's go this way. Cool. All well, right, we'll get turned around, bud. I gotta go up here and turn around, okay? There's a. We are. I gotta turn around. Do you see the green tractor up there, though? You can barely see his yellow head. You see him up there? See him? Should I see if I get a picture of him? Oh, I can kind of get a picture of him. Let's see what I can see here. I saw that tractor. Oh, we were gonna be done, but I saw that tractor. Let's see if I can't shoot through these trees. Oh, I put manual focus on. I didn't mean to do that. old tractor sitting up there and because we're at it we'll get a different shot of this windmill you see what a difference makes when you're step back and go at 600 millimeters it really compresses the background in that shot we got the windmill in a silo in the background buddy I'm sorry somehow I got stuck in manual focus and here comes the tractor right here up the road you see it bud Oh, right here. What the hell he's doing? He's digging up the whole road. I think he doesn't want this car to pass. Okay, here we go. Oh, I do want to get a different angle of this tractor if I can. What tractor? The, that tractor back there. Also, the tractor in front of us. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a different angle of that tractor, though. Do I have a different angle? Maybe right here? Yeah, right here. Yes, right here. Okay. So I'm get the tractor up on the road quick. Let's see if I can get on with his lights on because I gotta be careful though because I'm in the middle of the road and there's a hill right in front of me or behind me. Crouch down. Okay. Then we're going back over here to this guy, this other tractor. That was a cool shot. But that is a good way to end the day. We got two tractor shots and guess what? They're my favorite color. So I'm gonna see if I can get another shot here, potentially of this tractor. Otherwise I'm gonna call it quits. Oh yeah. I like this background a lot better. We're gonna park it right here. Check that. All right. With that, now we are done. Okay, so that's gonna be the last shot for the day. I've been out here for about an hour. Um, I gotta go get the girls. Yeah, we're all done, bud. So with that, uh, that concludes our little photo drive today. Uh, I hope you guys got something from this. I hope it was somewhat entertaining or informative. Uh, I just like getting out and shooting, even in days like this where it's overcast and you think there not, might not be good photo opportunities. Yeah. By golly, I think there is good photo opportunities because the the lighting is even. Even uh, There's atmosphere with the clouds and the mist and the fog. And it just, uh, it's always fun to get out and shoot. So, if you're not already subscribed, please do so so you can follow around. Follow. If you're not already subscribed, please do so so you can follow along. And I'll see you guys on the next photo drive. Until then, keep shooting and have a great day. Peace.